What's up guys, Rodster13 here. Got part two of the category Katsumoto X Tech build. Don't know if I said all that right, but it's about the best I can do. Um, so yeah, this is part two. In this video, I'm gonna be throwing the interior in the car, throwing all the body panels on it, getting the motor built, dropped in the car getting the car painted it will be on all fours and you guys will actually be able to see it in action on the drag strip later in the video so right now just grabbing some seats it's gonna go with black like racing style bucket seats but i went with the red ones because i like red so i went with those um, then as far as the steering wheel, probably going to go with the M3 wheel. Um, that one just, I don't know. It's kind of like a tuner car steering wheel, I guess you could say. Like, I don't know, it just kind of fits. It's almost like the steering wheel that was in, uh, uh, what was it? The purple Mitsubishi Eclipse that... Um, was in Too Fast, Too Furious. There we go. Finally got that out. It took a little bit, but <laughs> came out. So we're going to go with aftermarket, headlights, taillights, bumpers, hood. You know, got to spice things up a little bit. And just grab the regular parts that we can't really go aftermarket with. I wish this car had a little bit better aftermarket support with the tail lights and the headlights maybe some other hoods or something i don't know but i am gonna put a spoiler on it i'm not gonna go ricer on it just because i kind of want it to be like a clean you know honda civic build where it's got like nice little spoiler on the back and whatever which i mean on a front wheel drive car uh I don't know, there's a lot of controversy on whether or not a spoiler is really um, beneficial, but in a sense, they can be, uh, especially for cornering and stuff like that. So, I mean, it is worth throwing a wing on a two or front wheel drive car. I think I said two wheel drive a second ago. I don't know, but front wheel drive car, yeah. Wings are still beneficial i think i mean because they'll give you extra downforce on the rear end when cornering so still works out but yeah just throwing all the body panels on here now and uh now just going in for the plate i'm gonna customize that and when i'm done then i'm back with you guys so we have the plate done and I did throw VTEC on it because I had to. But, yeah, so that's on there. Um, I was going to do Turbo VTEC, but I was just like, no, nah, just slap VTEC on there quick. So, now throwing the spoiler on. It doesn't exactly fit on that trunk. It kind of clips into it a little bit, but looks good for the most part. So, engine bay is a little empty. And uh, I'm going to grab all the fuses here, start with that, because I like to start with doing the fuse box first, because in my opinion, like, don't get me wrong, I like having the fuse boxes in the car. It's really nice that they added that, and then the reservoirs where you have to add fluid and everything, it makes it more realistic. I like all of it, but the fuse box is still... The most annoying thing to deal with in the engine bay and hopefully uh you guys didn't hear that sound as my phone going off but and there it goes again so yeah i actually just realized that it was a bad um fuse box base so i took care of that and got that all done so we're past that now i also muted my phone so that way there 
you won't have to hear it go off again. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I did actually listen back to that, and uh, it was pretty loud, so uh, sorry about that if, you know, you're watching YouTube at night or somewhere where, you know, you're not trying to have everybody look at you or whatever. Whatever the case may be, I know how it is. I'd, I've done it. So, um, sorry if uh, people hear that and they stare at you and wonder what it was. <laughs> but, yeah. So, this car um, actually had an intercooler, which I didn't realize. I was looking through it, and I didn't see an intercooler. So, I actually pulled mine out after I made the first video and got this car done up a little bit. And I looked at it and uh, went in, popped the hood, checked it out, looked around the radiator, and found that it actually had a small intercooler mounted right in front of the radiator. So, um, went with or did an aftermarket one of those. I was going to put, if you guys saw in the last video or well heard in the last video i was going to put a naturally aspirated in line four in here just because that's how civics were back in the late 90s and everything um i decided because it had the intercooler that i was going to put the turbo motor in it and i love turbos like you have no idea so i just had to go with that um i always do like the i4 dual overhead cam uh bfm motor i think it is because that one if i were to put that in here you could probably easily break 500 horsepower no problem with the stage 3 ecu um and all that like you'd probably easily be able to break 500 horsepower so it it'd be nice but i do that and like all of my personal cars that have the inline four just because of the fact that you know i love having more power so but with the stage three ecu now like you can i mean you can take a car that used to be like not so fun at all throw that stage three ecu on it and it doesn't do a whole lot but it does enough to kind of make it somewhat decent like the if you guys have the Land Rover DLC, there's a um, diesel one in there. I think it's the Defender 90 or something. That one, it's a cool rig, you know, and it's diesel. So, I mean, it's, like, new to the game having diesel engines. So, I mean, and I love diesel, so I had to get that and keep it. But the diesels in this game, like, they just don't get enough love i don't think me personally i think they should be showing a little bit more love when it comes to the power numbers but they are little four cylinders so i mean you can't expect a whole lot out of them but i just hope that when they bring the ram dlc and the um ford dlc and like an f-350 that was in the last car mechanic hopefully they'll bring the power stroke motor in for that um and like the rams hopefully they'll bring the commons for the 3500 into the game because if you could have those and actually fully build them to like a thousand horsepower that would be pretty sick i mean that I don't know. I would personally love having diesels in this game, like diesel pickup trucks. That'd be pretty sick. But, um, or even if like they could just bring in other Ram trucks in the DLC, like maybe a third gen Cummins or whatever, like, you know, the 03 to 07 body style. Cause I think 08's when they started the fourth gen. Might be a little off on that, but I'm pretty sure 08's when they started 14. But yeah, that'd be pretty cool if we had diesels like that in here, though. That and hopefully Chevy will make an appearance because I know we have a lot of Chevys in game, but some Chevy pickup trucks would be pretty nice in here. 
because I'm personally, if you guys have been around on the channel, you know that I have like this, I don't know how to put it. I completely messed that up. My brain is going, or my mouth is going faster than my brain. There we go. Got that part out. So, um, I have currently two Chevys, and I, I love Chevys. So, that's what I was trying to say. For those of you who stuck around for a while, you know that. But, um, I have a 2500 Silverado with a 6.0 in it, and, uh, which I'm actually trying to sell right now. And, um... Uh, 05 Trailblazer with the 42 straight six, which love that thing. It wasn't an accident. Um, this one will also be for people who have stuck around for a while. Uh, if you guys saw it a while ago, I posted a video on that. It was in an accident. Um, wow, almost two years ago now, back in 2021. I'm not gonna get into all that i will just say it wasn't my fault the guy cut out in front of me and i know everybody says that wasn't my fault but it really wasn't i walked away with no ticket or nothing like that the other guy got slapped with tickets and all sorts of stuff so i mean is what it is um things happen she's back she's not the same as she was uh driving wise but she still drives good she still sounds amazing and uh yeah i mean honestly like if you guys out there are looking for a decent vehicle if you can find a nice trailblazer or envoy or whatever with the 4.2 it doesn't have too many miles like it doesn't have any issues i would avoid like the 02 03 bodies but like 04 and up snag that thing it'll be reliable for you I'm not just saying that because I'm a Chevy person either. I'm saying that because it's facts. Like, 4.2 is probably one of the most... The later models of it, like, especially 05 and up. I don't know about 04, but definitely 05 and up. The 4.2s, they're really good motors. But enough rambling on about real-life stuff because this is a car mechanic simulator video. But, you know, I had to make some conversation... While we're doing all this fun stuff, um, yeah, so now the, I had to paint the valve cover red too, because I think, I could be wrong, I don't know if they put red valve covers in the Type R's or not, I, I don't know if people painted them or what, but, I don't know, I just, I, I thought it would go with the car a little bit, so that's why I did it, um, so yeah. I did a red pearl on it, I think it was. Looks pretty good. And we got the nice chrome with it as well. The beautiful intake manifold and exhaust manifold that is covered up by this god-awful freaking tinfoil-looking manifold cover. <laughs> I wish you could like it. I don't know. I wish they would, like, take that out or make it so you could paint it or something just to make it look better. But I don't know if you could really make it look better with the texture it has because it literally looks like tin foil. But, hey. Uh, holds the heat in, I guess. It does what it needs to. So, pretty much got the whole engine buttoned up now. Seems like in these car mechanic videos, I tend to go on a rant sometimes about, like, other things, but I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. I enjoy making them, so hopefully you guys enjoy watching them, and um, if you could, drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'd like to see if we could hit, like, three likes. Not much. But it'd be worth some. Then that way there, I know you guys enjoy the video. And then it motivates me to want to keep making them. Because I'm trying to get better with the videos as I go. So, I know like, right now, you know, I'm 
not the most enthusiastic or like whatever sounding person, but I, I try to make it work. Because I don't want to just jump in here and scream in your guys' ear and be like, holy, make that guy shut the hell up. <laughs> That, and I have to be careful what I say now because of the age restriction stuff. I still haven't gone through and messed with all the videos on my YouTube channel trying to get the age restriction thing set on them. And then the tags came out, so I'm trying to go back every now and then, do a couple videos. So hopefully they'll still get out there and people will see them. But yeah, so again, ranting on other crap, but... Motors in, uh, it's been in for a little bit now, I've been talking a lot, so there's the beautiful turbo, adds 10% of a gain, I was actually kind of surprised to see that, like, adds a pretty good amount of power, and it looks amazing too, like, man, the turbo, just looks so good. Now time to add all the fluids into it. I always save this one for last because, I mean, it's, I don't really think I need to explain that. It's probably the most um, logical thing because I'm sure those of you that play this game have made the mistake at least once or twice where you go to put fluid in or whatever, or you take a part off the car and it drains all the fluid. I think you can put fluid in the reservoirs if they're in there without the engine in there because it kind of like tricks the game a little bit, but I just save it for last just in case. Good on engine oil. Now some power steering fluid. And then some brake fluid and she's all set and ready to rock. After she gets in alignment and paint and all that stuff. Excuse me. I don't know if that was caught on camera, but it was like a little burp. It's like, oh, hello. Where'd you come from? Oh, another thing I was going to mention. Another bit of the uh, real life shenanigans. Um, C4 Energy. I don't know if any of you guys ever tried it, but I got this Mango Fox trot out right now for the Wounded Warrior Project. And this stuff is amazing. That and uh, the Ghost Energy drinks, the Sour Patch Kid ones, those are awesome as well. But yeah, so. Got the window tent on there, had to do that. Once they brought that out, I've, I'm have i pretty sure I've tinted the windows on every single car I've ever done. Because, I mean, it just it makes the car look better, in my opinion. Instead of it looking like a fishbowl. But here's headlight alignment. I actually, when I first started playing this game, I didn't realize you had to do both headlights. I thought when you did the one, it just uh, did both of them. So I sat there. I think it was a mission. You had to do the headlight alignment on a car. I sat there for probably like 20 minutes trying to figure out what the problem was and why it was saying I didn't accomplish it. And then I figured it out and I felt like an idiot after. But yeah, fun times. So... Like I said in the last video, I was thinking of keeping this orange color, orangey color. I don't know. It's like a, I don't know. It's almost an in-between, like an orangey yellow. But I thought it looked pretty good on the car. It's kind of like a mustard color, honestly. And the more I look at it, that's what it makes me think of. But... You'll be able to see how to get a state or ECU maxed out right here. You'll see the 
low trick. Um, the trick to it is really just trying to line up for these things and just like that every time it's going to get you max every time never fail so you have to go back and if, like rewind and watch it again but i don't remember what exactly i had to get them at but you have to get four of them at a certain point and then the other the last one at a certain point and then once you just keep going down with that last one it makes everything fall into place and you're good to go And then once you do that, it started with 6%, and now you can see it's 22% just on the ECU. So I'll let you guys have a listen. not bad for power honestly like before the um tunable ecus came in you could only get like 250 horsepower out of this motor i think so now with that like it i don't know i could be a little off on that because honestly it, it does seem a little bit low but i don't know i know you couldn't hit 300 before I'm pretty sure. So here we are at the drag strip. And take our first rip and uh, not racing anyone, just doing a uh, warm up practice run. The car ain't like super slow. It ain't super fast either, but I mean, for a Civic to be touching. 170 miles an hour I'm pretty sure anybody would be a little surprised by that <laughs> but I know some of those hatchbacks like the 90s ones uh, I've seen people build them to like 500 600 horsepower and gut the whole thing and it just it, stupid fast but Gonna go up against the old El Camino here, and I know how this one's gonna go, cause like I told you guys earlier, I'm a Chevy fan, so I'm almost 100% sure that this thing's gonna beat me. It just it makes so much more torque and horsepower. It's a little bit heavier, but I did keep it even too. They're both at um, B352, I think it was, or whatever, so. They're at the same, um, like, perf level or whatever you want to call it. And, yeah, he got the jump on me. But, oh, we're coming back a little bit. Oh, I don't know, guys. We're coming back on him. The top end's going to be where he gets me probably, though, because of his horsepower. Yeah, he's pulling. Yep, he's pulling. All day. He's probably got like double the horsepower I have in that thing. Which I mean, honestly, if that is the case, and he only beat me by that much, that is kind of sad. But that thing's also probably got like a thousand pounds on this car at least. So she's a little bit heavier. But yeah. So, um... Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more Car Mechanic Simulator videos, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll be putting more out. I also have a Farming Simulator 22 video coming out here very soon. Um, might upload it this weekend, Sunday or something, not sure yet. But uh, yeah, so stick around for that. If you guys want to see that, it's going to be a good one. And uh and give her some revs here for you but if you guys want to see how much this car sold for i will show that at the end and like i said hopefully you guys enjoyed
and I'll catch you in the next video. As promised, I said I'd show you guys how much the car sold for. If I would have washed it after the racing, it would have been a little bit more, but that's all right. wouldn't have been too much, so that's it for this one. Later, guys.